subscribe, like, do what you want, really. Are back, folks. Mr. Show here with quarterfinal number three in the Great Eight tournament to crown the greatest role play wrestling belt ever made. Each belt will be judged on likeness to the real belt, build quality of the toy, and overall feels. Highest scorer out of 30 goes through to the semi final. On this episode, it's the year 2000 Jacks WWF Big Eagle versus the 2010 Jacks TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Honourable mention to the WWE Classic Belts range from the mid-2000s, who are the slightly prettier cousins of this, the year 2000 WWF Big Eagle. It's hard to believe that only two years previously, Jax tried to unload this printed monstrosity on fans. The 2000 version isn't just a step up, it's a hop, a skip and a jump up. Moulded, golden plastic Cutouts for the sidebars and main globe, mini globes with a darker blue background behind them and an attempt at painted details with the WWF logo and champion banner. We're still stuck with only the outer plates but they're also moulded and there's tooling around the edge of the blue foam. Blue being the original colour of the belt before the strap went black. This belt shines, it gleams and it's raised up textured and moulded like never before. Sure, I'd like to see jewels and black text for World Wrestling Federation, and yes, the dark blue backdrop is a bit of a cheat versus actual painted details on the globes, but Jax, I forgive you, it's okay. Scores then, likeness to the real belt, 7 out of 10. Build quality, 8 out of 10, moulded, 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 and 7 out of 10 for feels. It's no winged eagle, but what is, other than, you know, the Winged Eagle. Total for the Jax 2000 Big Eagle is 22 out of 30. It's on, folks. For my money, in terms of design, the TNA World Heavyweight Championship 2007 to 2010 is one of the greatest belts ever. You've got an eagle whose curved wings create dagger like blades at the top. The cool symmetry of the TNA logo, stars, jewels, banners, dual plating, maps of the world, it's like the NWA, WWF Winged Eagle and Big Eagle had a baby and it's beautiful. Gone is foam on the roleplay version replaced by faux plastic leather with stitching come tooling around the edge and backed with a grey felt. The belt flops in a good way like none before it with my only concern being how thick the plates are. But I say concern because I think Jack's got this right as actual belts aren't sheet thin. It just looks odd here because we're so accustomed to flimsier plastic. It's chunky presentation all round, although again we're missing the outer plates and the NWA style gold rings between them. No gold tip either, but otherwise a very handsome belt indeed, which scores 7 out of 10 for likeness to the real belt, 9 out of 10 for build quality it is the best yet and 8 out of 10 for feels a huge tna impact then with 24 out of 30 and the win the tna world heavyweight championship goes through to semi-final two to face the winner of mattel's wwe united kingdom championship versus jazzwares aew world championship Join me, Mr. Show, next time for quarterfinal number four in the Great Eight tournament to crown the greatest roleplay wrestling belt ever made. Until then, take care. Ta-ra now.